we will look at a very relatively simple exam P exercise, but very important for passing the exam. Here is some information for you where you can find more information about me. That's smarturl.it forward slash actuary Jedi if you like that. If you can remember that, that should be easy. Information where you can get the manual and the online seminar that I run and also online practice exams um, in an adaptive form. And of course we would always love to get donations for scholarships for the students in the actuarial program. Here's the exercise. The figure below shows the cumulative distribution function of our n variable x. And as you can see, the n variable has um, positive probabilities only for x greater than or equal to zero, so it's non-negative with probability one. And you're supposed to find the expected value of it. And you should know, just by looking at this, that this is about um, using the Darth Vader rule, because this random variable is non-negative almost surely, but with probability 1. You're looking for the expected value. And the expected value is the integral of the survival function from 0 to plus infinity. And the survival function is 1 minus big F of x. So you could actually get the answer from just looking at this graph, and I hope you're thinking about that. So now, as you thought about it and did all the calculations, let's take a look at the solution. In the solution, I drew the picture of the survival function for you. The survival function is 1 minus big F, so you could actually see it from the area above the graph of f of x, but under 1. And you could calculate that area between the graph of f of x and the horizontal line at the level of 1. But if you didn't do this, all you need to do is calculate the area under this graph. It's not really completely up to scale. The unit of 1 is much bigger on the vertical axis than on the horizontal axis. My apologies about it. You see that the level line uh, that the graph starts with is at the level of 0.5. So the survival function is equal to 0.5 from 0 to 2 and then it linearly drops to 0 at 3. And what's this area under the graph? Well the first part of it from 0 to 2 is a rectangle with sides of 0.5 and 2, and the area of that rectangle is 0.5 times 2, so it's 1. And the rest is a triangle with the sides of 1 and 1 half, and the area of that is 1 half times 1 times 1 half, so it's a quarter. And the total area is 1 and a quarter, and that's the expected value of this random variable. Now let's take a look at your good friend on the exam, the Darth Vader rule. So you need to know that if a random variable is greater than or equal to zero with probability one, then the expected value of it is equal to the integral of its survival function. That's what this rule means. And here you have an explanation of it using the Fubini theorem for the continuous random variable first. So a standard definition that for some reason, the standard it shouldn't be because this one is so much simpler. Um, says that it, uh, the expected value is the integral from zero to plus infinity of x times f sub x of x dx. But we can write that little x as the integral from zero to x of dt, and then switch the order of integration. Now, notice this: t runs from zero to x, which means that as x goes all the way to infinity, t also goes to infinity. And it starts from zero, where x starts. But t is less than x, which means that x is more than t. So if we switch order of integration, t will run from zero to infinity, and x will run from t to plus infinity. So we have the integral from zero to infinity with respect to t, and inside the integral from t to plus infinity of 
little f. Well, that integral inside is the survival function. It's the probability of big X being more than that value of t. So we get the integral from 0 to plus infinity of the survival function. For the discrete case, and of course there's also the mixed case, but the mixed one is the weighted average of a continuous and discrete, so you can just get the same formula from the weighted average. So for the discrete case, um, well the expected value is a sum over all values of I, I'm taking it from 1 to plus infinity, but it could be finite as well. It's the same uh, reasoning. xi times f sub x of xi. Okay, and we again write this xi as the integral from 0 to xi of dt. And we switch the order. We do the summation first and then the integral. But the summation now can only be done over those xi that are more than t, because t is less than xi. So we have a summation over xi more than t of f sub x of xi, and then we take the integral from 0 to plus infinity um, dt. Okay, well then, the sum inside is just this survival function. So we get the same formula. It is the simplest way to calculate the expected values. The reason why this problem is given to you in the SOA sample is because you're supposed to know this. And um, you should.